Have you ever stopped to think about how silence can change things? The concept of the no-contact rule serves as a strategic pause that resonates deeply. Stoic thought suggests that this rule does not involve severing ties with others. Despite this, it's important to embrace silence as a means of personal growth. Introspection In today's video, we'll look at how taking a break from daily interactions can help you can help you learn a lot about yourself and give you a mysterious air that comes easily. Draws people to you. We'll look at the psychological dynamics at play and how this time to think can help you reset your emotions and become a, if you want to become a high-value person who makes important connections, this is the place to go. If you want to earn respect and praise, this is a trip you'll want to take. Don't forget to click the like button and follow for more intriguing videos. Click the bell to join a group of people who are putting what they know into action. Let's look at why. The no contact rule transforms everything for everyone. For starters, people are built to when people deal with loss in their lives, especially in relationships, they often. We often take for granted things that are already within our reach while being focused. On things that seem hard to get, we often don't fully value what we have until it's gone. Gone. And in our search for new wants, it's easy to forget how valuable what's in front of us. This dynamic holds significant importance in relationships. Since your partner could always reach you, they might not have known how much your if, your appearance improved their life. They might not have considered what they lacked or perceived your availability as a disadvantage. Since Stoicism teaches us to see this pattern in how people act, Marcus. The legendary Stoic sage Aurelius tells us to be self-controlled. We should not allow external factors to determine our happiness in relationships. It's true that the no-contact rule is an exercise in exercise self-control by taking a step back instead of responding without thinking. By separating yourself and making space, you force your partner to face the truth of your absence. It helps them understand your value when they have easy access to you. Imagine you were, you should always be there for your partner, available, mentally present and simple. It may have become so normal for you to be there over time that it, in their eyes it lost its value, but things change when you follow the no-contact rule. Shift the sudden inability to access something can lead to feelings of sadness and frustration. If your partner harbours doubts, they might question the reasons behind their actions. Take a step back. Did I take them for granted? These questions are beginning to evoke anxiety in you. Anger and hunger, especially when they witness you succeeding without them, can be overwhelming. The no-contact rule comes from the stoic idea of detachment by stepping back. It shows that your happiness and peace of mind don't count on their approval or attention, as Seneca once said. Who is poor? It's not the lack of resources, but the yearning for more. When you stop trying to get their approval and respect, you show that you're okay without them. Dynamics often makes them want the link they took for a sudden turn. Indeed, consider a partner who showed no concern for your well-being during your relationship. Enforcing the do-not-contact rule might cause them to notice your absence, makes them think about times when you were there for them and wonder if they truly admired everything you brought into their lives. They might start searching because the inability to reach you makes them feel rushed their social media accounts, asking what you're up to and maybe even getting jealous if they see you. I think you're getting over this feeling of loss and fear of missing out. The no-contact rule is effective because it utilises this mental strategy. Provide an answer that allows the other person to live their life without your interference. Stoicism tells us not to hold on to things we can't change 
and when you accept this as a turn of events instead of desperately trying to win them back. You take a cool step back and give them time to think about what they've lost. Your silence strengthens you, and they begin to realize the value of the things they once had, but didn't fully appreciate. Understand that this place of quiet reflection is where real growth and change can happen. Things that happen to you and them, number two, unpredictability. Imagine if everything in your life went exactly as you planned, every day. It's not surprising that talks would quickly lose their appeal. The unpredictable aspects of life draw us in and keep us interested. Things that mix the expected with the unknown keep them guessing. Because of this, the no-contact rule after a breakup works so well because it does not, when you fight the urge to text or check in, you reach out. Bring chaos into your ex's life so they don't know what to expect from you. Your unpredictability keeps people interested. Going back to you, adding stoicism to this idea makes it even more strong stoics teach us to focus on what we can control, like our own deeds. We need to let go of our feelings, our reactions and everything else. The no-touch rule is a great example of this idea in action. Instead of reacting strongly to the breakup by sending your ex a lot of, you stay in charge of sending them texts or trying to get them to come back yourself by taking a step back. This demonstrates your independence from external pressures, despair or a need for approval. This poorly written reaction often piques your ex's curiosity because suddenly they can no longer ignore you. They can't predict your next move because you've defied the trend they were expecting. Imagine the sudden silence from someone you care about. No calls, texts or emails. Interaction may initially feel positive, but over time, their absence becomes evident. More loudly, you start to wonder why they pulled away and if they plant the seed, when I think of you and what has changed. The same psychology applies to bonding out of interest. When you adhere to the no-contact rule and cease communication with your ex, on radar, you give them room to think, to miss what's known and to be interested. Your brief silence also serves as a reminder of the potential for attachment. We should steer clear of pain, particularly when it stems from circumstances beyond our control. Observing no contact allows you to regain control over your emotions. But you also show that you're strong and independent by telling your ex that you're no longer dependent on them. If you can keep your cool like that, you're even more beautiful. You cease to be dependable, which prompts them to reevaluate their assumptions about you and the situation. They'll start to wonder why they haven't reached out, what they're doing, and if they're moving on. Thoughts often prompt people to reach out to you unexpectedly. Show them that you're not following the same old rules. Instead, make your own. Create your own path forward one that challenges their preconceived notions. When you mix the no-contact rule with stoic ideas, you get a strong, this tool will assist you in regaining your attention and restoring your peace of mind immediately. Following our discussion of how being unpredictable can help you, act if you're ready. If you find this message useful, please click the like button and leave a comment. Comment below if this resonates or what you think. Deep down, all you have to do is type Reclaim My Power in the comments to confirm your I promise to take back control of your life and stay tuned. There's more to come. Let's move on to the next important step in this self-empowerment journey. Third insight. You paint a strong picture of surprise when someone who... Something that was once very important to you suddenly stops being a part of your daily life. The absence of someone leaves a void, a place full of unanswered questions. This is where the, the no-contact rule functions similarly to an unsolved case puzzle. One that keeps people thinking, like science is driven by, in the search for the unknown, 
The no-contact rule uses the power of doubt to make people curious. Your ex thinks about you more than they would if you were always there for them. If you opt for no contact, you break the cycle that your absence always exacerbates. Ask them things like, where are they? How are they feeling? Why aren't they reaching out? It turns out that the longer the silence goes on, the stranger things get and the truth comes out. It's in our nature to want to find peace and understand what we can't. It's easy to imagine or predict that your ex will still be struggling with this mental puzzle. They won't be able to avoid solving, and this is often what brings them back to you from a tough guy's point of view. The no. The touch rule isn't about tricking people or playing games. It's about getting better. Stoicism tells us that we should focus on controlling our feelings and behaviours. We can make changes to our own ideas, actions and reactions by taking a step back. You are deciding not to let the situation whip up your emotions. Instead, you are exercising. You are showing patience and mental strength, which are important stoic traits. The way you feel about yourself is independent of whether someone returns or not. Consider the impact on someone's behaviour if you abruptly stop texting them frequently. At first, they might not give it much thought, but as time passes, they start to question why. Stillness. Are they moving on? Have they forgotten about me? The more they think about, the longer you stay out of their mind by removing yourself from the in this equation. You're giving them an opportunity to miss you and reflect on how much you meant to them. Stoics thought that we should not care about things we can't change, like other people's feelings or decisions. You stop seeking their approval when you reach out. You show that you are being stable, calm and independent are traits that not only attract people but also earn their respect. Stoic self-control makes you seem more mysterious when you're not. You're just concentrating on your own path. It's not like you're begging. That is very appealing. In this way, the no-contact rule is not just. This strategy demonstrates your strength and control when your ex is looking at you. In the mystery of your absence, you are strengthening your own base. Ultimately, this helps them understand that they want to be a part of your life once more. They have learned to appreciate their possessions, not as a result of deceit. Lost number four. The absence of touch increases the value of things. Imagine for a moment that someone. When someone you admire suddenly becomes unavailable, what happens to their value in your eyes? Eyes go through the roof. This is due to the fact that in life, deprivation enhances one's worth. The no contact rule is a concept you can use on yourself when you step away. When you're silent, you let other people see how valuable you are. To possess value, one cannot pursue or cling to objects. You have to understand that. Others need to know what we offer, and if you withdraw, they won't. By playing games, you show that you have self-respect and patience, which are both very important. Stoic Virtues When you're not around, your silence says a lot. All of a sudden, they feel empty. They miss the talks, the attention, and the giving them this time off causes them to think and appreciate what they have. What you did made their lives better. Epictetus was one of the great Stoic thinkers. I learned that having a lot of stuff doesn't necessarily make you rich. Few people desire to retreat and refrain from constantly seeking attention or approval. People can relate to your mental wealth, which helps them cope. Think about how we value things that are difficult to get, like diamonds or limited editions. People highly value limited edition collectibles due to their rarity. This also applies to relationships. If you open up too much, the value will decrease. The value that others place on your presence decreases, but when you set limits, you communicate that to them. St. Thomas taught us that people can't take you for granted. Learn the art of patience.
Epictetus advised us to practice maintaining our patience, own acts instead of worrying too much about how other people will react by implementing. By avoiding communication, you're not only creating scarcity, but also, with your emotional strength and patience, you're giving them time to feel the void your loss leaves. A sense of peace means you're not waiting for them to contact you. Know that worth is not something you ask for. When you have a sense of worth, the no-contact rule works because it changes the balance of power. Don't chase someone. Instead, give them time to figure out what you're really worth. Stop being the... That person who is constantly seeking approval has begun to transform into someone else. I was admired and sought after by leaving and letting silence speak for itself. You let people know that you're important. It's not about playing games. It's about liking yourself enough to let them understand that they should never have taken you for granted. Stoicism does teach that our real power lies in how we handle things, but only in the end. The no-contact rule is a wonderful example of how we should treat ourselves, not how we treat other people. Applying this knowledge will prevent you from controlling or punishing others. Instead, you are using this time to focus on your personal growth, peace, and let your absence serve as a testament to your value. When you combine these two concepts, strengths, if you learn how to be patient, you'll find that people often come back. However, this time, they treat you with greater respect for who you are. We've talked about how the no-contact rule fits with stoic ideas about being patient, respecting yourself and controlling your emotions. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how, if your absence affected your relationships or personal growth, please leave a message, leave a comment below to tell us about your experience or if this word speaks to you. You can confirm your agreement with the policy by sending an absence message. Let's move on to the next key. The fifth principle involves instilling a fear of loss in others. For example, someone pulls you away all of a sudden. Taking it away imbues it with an air of mystery and doubt, leaving you wondering what they're doing, why they took a step back, and if they're enjoying life without you. This is what the no-contact rule isn't just about being quiet. It's also about making a strong bond. The phrase, fear of losing out, or when you go no, describes this feeling. When you make eye contact, you're basically living out one of the most important stoic lessons. When you choose to take a step back, you demonstrate your self-control by demonstrating that you don't let impulses get the better of you. And that's when the other person starts to wonder. They start to, they feel left out because they can't feel your energy or be with you. Consider a moment in your life when someone abruptly stopped communicating with you. Didn't you find yourself wondering? You think about them more often, even if you didn't before. That's because puzzle sparks. To use stoic language, controlling your interest is crucial as curiosity often leads to desire. How can you modify your behavior and let go of the influence of others? Responding with no contact is effective because it taps into a fundamental fear that people often harbor. When someone feels left behind or excluded from something better, the more they fill in the gaps with their own theories, the less they appear to understand what's happening with you. Fantasy. And most of the time, they think the worst about you now that you've moved on. There's a hint that you're doing well and they've lost something important. There is a strong way to change the situation in your favor without saying a word. Stoics teach that you shouldn't try to control things that are out of your hands. When you adhere to the no-contact rule, you allow the other person to pursue you. Find your center and remain calm while they become the one who feels the pain. Fear of the unknown is what makes them reach out, not because they have to. The no-contact rule works because they want it to, not because it causes famine, 
but it also provokes thought on both sides. Self-disciplined and patient people often come to mind when they think about themselves. Better number six. No contact builds respect. Have you ever considered the fact that the most exceptional individuals often speak the fewest words? Many people don't realize the power of silence. The no-touch rule makes use of this power, which is why it functions so effectively. It's not about mind games, it's about gaining respect by being calm. Self-control This way of thinking comes from Stoic ideas, where the Stoicism says that controlling your feelings is the most powerful thing you can do. Being able to control yourself is one of the best qualities. Being calm and collected during emotional storms is what makes strong people different from weak people. If you stay in touch with someone, especially an ex, who knows you still care about them, you're not just cutting ties. By turning off contact, you show that you can handle yourself even when you're when your feelings are pushing you in the opposite direction, it's challenging to be strong in that way. Don't pay attention to this. Your ex probably wants you to chase them. Reach out or even beg for attention, but you don't do what's expected of you. Stay calm and focus on your life, growth and peace. Mind, and as time goes on, they start to notice that you're not there. At first, they may. At first, they assume you don't care. But over time, they come to understand that you're strong enough to put your own needs first, even though you still have feelings. Well-being is where respect starts to grow. The no-contact rule makes the allow the other person to reflect on their actions and the overall connection. Without your comfort or emotional support, they respect your strength. Stoics believe people respect strong, self-reliant people. Doesn't come from reacting emotionally or being present all the time. It comes when necessary, respectfully step away to demonstrate that you value yourself enough to do so. Without it, love is shallow, fragile and short-lived. The no-touch rule. By not reaching out even when you want to, you can rebuild that foundation. To show that you don't need their approval all the time, you're telling them directly that they don't make you feel good about yourself is important. Pay attention. Think about this. When someone pulls away, it makes room for the consider how your ex might begin to respect you in that silence. It requires strength, discipline and the will to walk away. This respect may even bring up old feelings but more importantly, it changes how they see you in the effectiveness of the no-contact rule is not solely dependent on its absence. Communication is about showing your inner strength. You're letting people know that you, even in the face of hardship, you can maintain your self-respect. The Stoics knew that real love was the basis of any lasting relationship. Mastering yourself gives you power, and by learning no-contact, you're doing just that. That both your ex and you are coming to respect you, and that is where real change starts. Before we proceed to the next point, I would like to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the power of non-touch and its potential for building? Please leave a comment below with your thoughts or if this word resonated with you. If this resonates with you, simply type, Keep my dignity up. To clarify your desire to maintain strength and focus, let's proceed. Next, here's an important insight, number seven. Peaks. Imagine you're watching a scary movie, and right before the big moment, the screen goes black, leaving you hanging. Your mind is racing with all the possible outcomes. You're frustrated because you still want to know what will happen next. When you use the word no, this is precisely what occurs. Rule of contact. The quick silence makes the other person think about something else. Our brains are set up to hate unfinished business, so we naturally look for ways to get it done. When you lack completion, your interest increases, which is what stoicism is about. It's important to control your feelings and responses and not allow external events to affect you. 
If you choose no contact, you're not trying to play games or trick them. Instead of trying to fake happiness for someone else, you're learning the art of you are choosing to keep your peace through mental self-discipline. And pay attention to yourself. Accepting this distance has a powerful effect. When we don't give them what they want, we often do more harm than good. You create a space where your attention is needed and the other one is compelled to observe the absence. Let's assume that a man falls into this category. After being in a relationship with someone who was always upset, he chooses to stop talking to her. At first, she might not have cared and might even have enjoyed the newfound love. Freedom. But as the days or weeks go by, he doesn't say anything, worries, and I begin to question his lack of communication. Has he moved on? Did I miss something? These questions, seemingly insignificant to him, continue to plague her, prompting her mind to search for solutions. The Stoics thought that there were answers to complete the unfinished story. Marcus Aurelius reportedly said, You have power when you keep quiet and don't speak. Not outside events on your mind. Understand this, and you will discover you're not trying to break the no-contact rule with this strength. Don't try to force people to react a certain way. Instead, you focus on what you can do. Take charge of your actions, feelings, and energy by pulling away, and when you release the urge to chase or fix things, you become stronger. The no-contact rule leaves the other person with a strong feeling of unfinished business that builds over time, forces the other person to face their own feelings. They start to understand. Your presence is valuable because when you're not there, people are thinking about you. As humans, we need to know where things stand. We fill in the gaps and the unknowns. The longer you don't say anything, the more interested they become, so don't make eye contact. Rule means taking back your mental freedom as well as waiting for someone to contact you. Using stoic ideas to stay calm in the face of doubt, your detachment makes an important difference. Where the other person is more interested in what they can't have and often just plain curious. If they win, they'll come back, not because you make them, but because you don't say anything, more than words ever could. Number 8. It makes you stronger. Let's say you just got over a breakup and everything feels like the urge to call or text someone is something you have to fight against. Check out their social media. It's amazing. Here's where the no-touch rule truly shines. It's not just about cutting someone off, it's about getting your power back. Stoics teach us that even though we can't change the world, we can still live by a set of rules. Outside of events, we always have the power to decide how to react. By not contacting your ex, the contact rule shows your wisdom. You're telling your mind that self-discipline is one of the most important skills you can learn in life. It was Stoics like Epictetus who said, I am in charge, not my emotions. He said, we can't change the outside world, but we can always change ourselves. They can choose how they talk to us during the chaos of a breakup by practicing saying no. When you fight the urge to do something, the contact rule shows that you are strong instead of impulsive. Think of it this way every time you do it. If you reach out, you'll strengthen your ability to deal with challenging times. It's not just a quick fix for a breakup. It's a long-term plan for becoming stronger in all areas of life. By resisting your urges, you show yourself that you can handle pain and discomfort. Uncertainty is a beneficial thing that will help you in your personal and professional ties. Growth To provide a real-life example, consider a person who has struggled. They ultimately decide to end the bad relationship by not talking to each other. It's painful at first, but over time they notice a change and stop focusing on it. They should stop worrying about what their ex is doing and focus on their own health. They are forming new habits and doing things they have always wanted to do. 
they finally understand that their happiness never depended on anyone else. The no contact rule helps people grow in those ways. It doesn't just make your when your ex misses you, it makes you realize how strong you really are. It's not just a way to get someone back, it's about controlling your own thoughts. Stoics advised self improvement, not relying on others. People have changed how they feel about you because you have learned to control your feelings. The no contact rule works because it tells you to put your own safety first, take care of your emotions and self worth, and once you learn to hold these, with that strength, you can handle any problem life brings your way right now. We've looked at the no contact rules inner meaning through the leave a comment below. If you'd like to share your thoughts on how you've used discipline in your own life, please share your stories or let me know if this message truly resonated with you. I am in charge, not my feelings. It's a strong affirmation. You're promoting the idea that your inner strength comes from inside, not from the outside. If you're ready for more information, let's move on to the next key point. It gives you a better view of things. Think about this when you're, while there is a storm going on, it can be challenging to see past the chaos. Relationships frequently behave like a storm, making it difficult to see clearly. This allows you to see things as they truly are. This is where the concept of no touch comes into play. A rule turns into a strong tool when you take a step back and stop talking to people. Giving yourself time and space to calm down will help you see the connection more clearly when you're not upset. From my point of view, this practice fits in nicely with the idea of detachment. Stoicism teaches us how important it is to think clearly about what's going on around us. Being free from the strong pull of emotions in a relationship when feelings are strong. It's hard to tell if the person is really right for you or if you've just fallen in love with them. The space between contacts creates important red flags that have been missed. The Stoics sought the same type of mental space to reflect, observe and contemplate. For example, understanding when you're always talking to a small misunderstandings can seem huge and the good things about them may seem overstated in your head, but once you can reflect on the relationship while you're away and refrain from speaking to them, you will be able to identify where things went wrong and gain additional insights. Most importantly, this method gives you the opportunity to repair the friendship. Determining whether to make peace or to leave requires clear thinking. In the end, the no contact rule is a better choice because it enforces compliance. Take a step back from the intense tornado and let reason take over. You can approach the relationship objectively, akin to a stoic philosopher taking a step back. Daily stress to focus on what's important. The time away gives you a chance to see how, if you reconcile, things could either improve or progress further. Is the smartest choice and it gives you power. To clarify, the no-touch rule is both a way to make someone miss you and a way to This is your chance to clean out your mind and feelings. Think of it as a cleanse. Getting away from the mental mess that built up during the relationship is often beneficial. Days full of highs and lows can wear us down over time. By stepping away and accepting silence, you give your feelings a chance to settle. This isn't avoidance. Stoicism is one of the best ways to find peace within yourself and think about your life. Controlling what you can and letting go are two important concepts. What you can't do. The no contact rule shows that you can't control someone, someone else's feelings or deeds, but you can choose how to react by taking a step. When you step back, you give yourself a chance to answer instead of react. In silence, clarity lets you see things as they are. For instance, one can make decisions without the influence of anger or sadness. Imagine that you were in a relationship where fights happened all the time. 
people became agitated or upset, and they may have said things they later regretted. In the heat of those moments, you weren't able to think clearly. Now that the no-contact rule is in place, in place, you pull away from the emotional storm, and over time, you start to... You can view the situation differently and evaluate the friendship without any bias. Noise to figure out how you act and even see patterns you missed. Whether you want to get back together with the person or not, you have done it before. Maintain a calm and collected mind, as the stoic way of life teaches. We need to control our emotions, and by avoiding contact, we give ourselves that opportunity. When you find that balance, you're not just avoiding bad feelings, you're dealing with them. Letting them go so that if you decide to connect, it will be from a, a place of strength, not despair. Number 11. It makes you. You can forget things more easily when you take a break from a situation, especially if you are feeling upset. When you run high, you start to see things more clearly, and the no-contact rule creates space in more than just physical space. Being stoic helps you deal with reality. Stoicism holds that you can't control others. Others. But how you handle what happens is what the no-touch rule means. Absolutely, not participating removes you from the stressful situation. Letting your thoughts calm down and thinking, Ally, why does this work? Because when? You're always talking to someone, especially after a breakup, when your feelings are all over the place. You cling to the highs and lows of life, and it's difficult to break free. By avoiding contact, you allow those emotions to subside. A hermit would tell you to let your emotions play out without acting on them. After not seeing them often, your thoughts start to wander. Shift. You start to think that maybe it's easier to be an artist. We were never meant for you in the first place. Take the case of someone who just went through. Someone goes through a split. They may feel very sad and want to. They get back in touch, but by following the no-contact rule, they start to see how life works. As time passes without that person, they gradually reconnect with themselves. Their ex's mental hold on them starts to loosen, which means they move forward with the no-contact rule more easily and painlessly gives you the power to take back control of your feelings, which is in line with wise Stoics, assert that, instead of reacting to their actions or words, you take on the role of the, you are responsible for your own mental health, but that doesn't mean you can't communicate with them. It's not simple or a quick fix. It requires effort. It's similar to Stoicism in that persistence is necessary for it to be effective. Cutting someone off might even make you feel like you're making things worse at times, but what you're providing ample time and space for both of you to recuperate and reflect. In the end, the rule against getting in touch with them works because it helps you forget about them. It prompts you to reflect on your personal development, emotions, and whether the relationship is meant to be or not. Taking a break helps you see things clearly. For what they really are, and as the Stoics say, peace of mind and keeping your emotions in check is important for finding peace even when things are hard. As we come to the end of today's talk about how the no-contact rule can change things, we've gone into a lot of detail, examine how silence can serve as a valuable tool for personal growth and development. Introspection Remember that this practice isn't about isolating yourself due to your meanness. It's about making room for self-discovery and changing the way our emotions work. The no-contact rule was a wonderful way to make important connections. Stoic ideas teach us the worth of detachment and self-control. By taking a step back, we can make others curious and respectful and ourselves more respectable. And mental strength, this planned break, lets us get back to our power and tells us that real strength doesn't come from outside sources. Thank you for reading today's lessons.
If you want to learn more about how Stoic Wisdom can help you, click here. Change the way you interact with others and yourself. Don't forget to click like. Comment below with what you think. Have you ever used the no contact rule? If so, what were your thoughts? Your interactions with others make our group better and help us all grow. Sign up and press the bell to receive more thought-provoking content. If you're interested in learning more about the concepts behind Stoicism, see the suggested videos on the screen right now for more on the same subject. Go deeper, continue to work on yourself and transform your knowledge. Thanks for watching. And you know that sometimes the most powerful one thing you can do is learn how to be quiet.